Hi everyone, welcome to World of Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and this is the Tier 8 Premium Russian Heavy Tank, the IS-3A, which went on sale in the lead up to Christmas last year. And I think it went on sale again just after Christmas. And after watching replays like this, I'm starting to regret not buying one. It's very similar to the IS-3, the normal Russian Heavy Tank at Tier 8, which is so prominent in clan wars and strongholds. Except it looks a little bit different. It's got, I believe it's got just as much armour, but you're going to see a little bit of a demonstration on its armour, and it's got a very punchy gun as well. This is a replay setting by Kat Sunakin from the MI6 clan, and he's in the infamous, world-famous Musketeers platoon with the mighty Mustang, and she's got her IS-3A as well, and they're on, what's this map called? Mountain Pass. You see, XVN doesn't give them that much of a chance of winning, but as we all know, that's often absolute garbage. So, Katz and Muzz are both going towards the ice road in their IS-3As, and like the gentleman he is, Katz has told Muzz on TeamSpeak that he's going to go first, he'll take the first hits, he's going to be brave, he's going to be a hero, but he's going to have a bit of a look around this corner just to see what's waiting for him up on the ice road. I mentioned XVN doesn't give him much of a chance. But we don't really care about that. He puts a shot into the Super Pershing, but we all know what Super Pershings are like. They can bounce all day. And the second shot puts in nearly 400 damage. Really takes a big chunk out of his, out of that Super Pershing's health. Unfortunately, Mars is getting absolutely caned back there. Looks like she's tracked. And she's starting to take some damage. Katz is doing the right thing here, he's using that hill as a bit of cover. There's a lot of enemy tanks there, there's a 112, a Tiger, T3485, a T6, the OI, which would be very dangerous, even at tier 8. And of course there's that Super Pershing, which we haven't seen. We've already lost our FCM in this game. And because, just because of the amount of tanks there, they've got to take a bit of evasive action, take a bit of cover, get behind something that's going to give him a bit of protection and hold him up there. Muzz is down to 373 health which you can probably see on Katz's left. Katz is bouncing shots like a boss. The T28 prototype up on the hill is going to be very scary. So Katz focuses on that. Unfortunately Muzz dies early in this game which is unusual and I can only imagine what she's saying. But Katz blocks another shot from that T28. The T28 backs away. He puts a shot into the 112. A very dangerous tank at tier 8. It's a Chinese premium heavy tank. He knows that he's on his own there. He's only got the T29 behind him, which isn't faring up too well. The T28 behind him is on uh, not too much health e either. They're down on um, down on tanks, three to four. T28 takes out that 112 and looks like on the other side of the map the top tier German heavy tank gets taken out as well. So Katz is just taking stock here, having a bit of a look around. Artillery is helping him by the looks of it. Looks like two artillery shots just went into those tanks that were poking around the corner. And as Katz looks around he thinks, oh I'm probably the only one who's got a little bit of, uh, bit of health left here. So he's poking around. The OI does what the OI does and blows someone away but Katz can make up for that by taking him out for a lazy 300 damage. You can see it's got a really good gun the IS-3A. You can see on the damage counter on the bottom left side of the screen which is the one that I use. Um, not far off 400 damage a shot. That's very very handy at, at tier 8. Now he's getting tracked a fair bit old Katz but not taking a great deal of damage. Unfortunate to miss that shot on the T-3485. It was fully aimed and it would have taken him down to um, a very manageable level. But it looks like the T-3485 is firing HE. So Katz does the right thing here. Puts a shot into the T-28 prototype. Leaves him on 47 health, which is enough for that Tiger 2 should be able to take care of him up on the bridge. Locks another shot or he's, uh, he's tracks Eat the shot from the Tiger 1. But you can't really see who's shooting at him. You can now, now we can see the Tiger 1. 
The Tiger 1's on fairly high health, but he is only a tier 7. And the I3O have blocked that Tiger 1 all day. Looking at the damage counter, he's already got 21 shots into it, but most, the vast majority of them have been blocked. And the T3485 is still firing HE. And he's just blocking shots from the Tiger, but they are keeping him tracked. They're still down, 9 tanks to 10. But... Cats has said, stuff this, it's time to start owning this game like a boss. Puts another 458 damage into that Tiger 1, which is a pretty high roll. And you can see he's done over 2300 damage already this early on. He's used a fair bit of his ammunition though. You can see he's only got 8 premium shells left. Plus he's got 8 high explosive shells left. He's not really worried too much about the VK coming up behind him because the IS-3A can block shots from both sides. And that VK is firing heat into him. And it looks like his tracks are, are reading most of that up. He gets rid of that T-3485. Looks like he blows his head off. Amorax him. His team are capping, and it looks like not many of the enemy tanks are anywhere near the cap. Now, Katz is down to about 209 health here. But look at the damage counter. He's done 3,500 damage. He kills the Tiger, which is his third kill. And now we can pay attention to this little VK who's just being annoying. He's blocking these shots, no worries. The only thing that's going to slow Cats down now is his lack of ammunition, but he's got 11 shots left. He takes out the VK2801. He's got two premium shells less as well as H8 high explosives. He's absolutely owned this corner. Now he knows the T28 was last seen crossing the bridge, but his team, looks like his team, have capped out and won the game considerably. Considerably easily in the end. Looking at the post-game battle results, it was a massive game for our Cat Sanakin, one of the best people to platoon with at MI6. Him and Muzz are always quick to platoon with new members, regardless of their skill level or what tier tanks they play. And this is an example of why it's always enjoyable to platoon with him. Have a look at these all these medals. He's picked up the Mastery Badge for that 4,500 damage. He's got the Bruiser for doing a lot of damage to enemy modules and crew members. Hand of God for surviving and winning the battle having received damage from four different enemies. Demolition for Amaraking, that would have been that T-3485. All these other medals, the Duelist, Fire for Effect for doing a heap of damage, Fighter for killing four or five enemies in a battle, and the Shellproof, having blocked more damage than his hit points, which comes along with the Steel Wall, getting the most hits and blocking the most damage on the team. He's got the High Calibre medal as well, and a Spartan for bouncing a shot when he's on less than 10% health. Plenty of tanks here on the side that Katz has spotted, damaged and killed. And looking at the team score, he absolutely carried that game. 1,426 base experience. That's a massive base experience. Bear in mind there was a, a competition for the FV4282, which I've just finished, which you had to get 750 base experience. And that people were saying that was too hard. This is 1,426 base experience. That's massive. And that's mainly because of the 4,272 damage, plus the four kills. And look at all those medals. Looking down, not many play, not many other players really stepped up to the plate, apart from jumping on the cap at the end of the game. Cats really carried that game, and it was massive. And not surprisingly, a good bottom line profit of 54,500 credits. That's with a premium account, and that's what you would expect from a premium tank like the IS-3A at Tier 8. Even though he fired a fair bit of premium ammunition, only because he ran out of normal ammunition. Um, look at that, damage blocked by armor. Nearly 4,500 damage blocked by armor. Did 4,200. Fired 18 shots, 17 hits, that's a very good rate of, of, of landing at targets. 12 went through, which gave him that massive damage count, even though the game only went for 7 minutes. Massive game from Katsunakan in the Mustang and Katsunakan Musketeers platoon at MI6, one of the best platoon teams going around at the MI6 clan. Thanks for watching this replay. Big shout out to everyone who's been watching and paying attention over the last few weeks. I have been unwell, so I haven't done many videos, but there's plenty more to come. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you all next time.